Today my sister married the man of her dreams and I'm finally getting the brother that I've been so patiently waiting for. Amanda, I'm so incredibly proud of you for everything that you've accomplished and for the person you've become. You've grown up to become the most amazing woman, sister, aunt, friend, and now you'll take on a new role to be amazing at, wife. If your marriage can emulate that of our parents, who've been married for 36 years, then I know that you and David are ready for the ride of your lives. You're going to experience love, laughter, and joy together, and you will stand together during times of trial. You were two people who were destined to find each other that day on the train and have a relationship that is nothing short of magical. Separately, you are two special, remarkable people, but together you are complete. My wish for you is to embrace, celebrate, and to love each other unconditionally every single day for the rest of your lives. It's hard to put into words how much you mean to me, Amanda. You're my best friend, you're the person I confide in, and you will always be my baby sister. I will always worry about and be protective of. You're my funny little sister who can make me laugh when all I want to do is cry. There are simply no words strong enough to express how much I really love you. I will always be here for you no matter what, and I need you to remember that. I know this whole day is going to seem like one beautiful blur, so please make sure you both look around and take all of this love in that surrounds you. Since I'm one of Amanda's older sisters, I sometimes worry about her, but not today. I know that she has met the man that she truly admires and loves unconditionally. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, David, for being such an important person in her life. Love, trust, and forgiveness are the foundations of a marriage. Many days will bring happiness, while other days may be difficult, but together, two hearts can overcome everything. When I was walking down the aisle, giving her away today, I cannot deny I felt the loss. After all, I was giving my daughter away to be married. But when we reached the altar, I felt something else. It was not really losing a daughter, but I am merely entrusting the happiness, love, and well-being to David for the rest of her life. 